How's it going, everybody? I'm Thomas Ogg. This is UF Show. Today, we're going to take a closer look at a claim from ancient aliens. Does this set of Egyptian hieroglyphics actually represent modern vehicles? Ancient astronaut theorists say yes. But we're going to get into today why this actually no is probably not a helicopter, a yacht, a flying saucer, and an aircraft here with a cockpit. Instead, this is probably an expression of palimpsest, which is when something has been used to write one document and then it was scraped off and used to write a second document later in history. So what we're looking at is actually the name of Seti the first here in blue in this image and Ramses the second in green in this image superimposed over one another and in varying stages of decay over the years, which ultimately produces a picture that looks a lot like uh, a lot of modern vehicles. So let's just kind of quickly go through how this breaks down. If you look here on the screen, you'll see the name of Seti the first is depicted in these three hieroglyphics on the right hand side. It's a hand, a mouth, and an arm. And then on the left, we have a bow and nine hash marks. And what this means together is this smiter of the nine bows which means ruler of the nine egyptian kingdoms essentially and so when we look at an image here of seti the first's name in another part of the temple you'll see without the ramses the second superimposed over it you can see a lot of these common features and so it's uh, an interesting case that seems one way is actually another. There are a couple other interesting Egyptian cases, the Saqqara bird. We'll take a closer look at that. Usually in a depiction of a bird, you don't see a vertical tail fin. That's not something you find in the animal kingdom. So uh, folks find this strange because it's so aerodynamic like a modern airplane. There's also the Dendera light in Egypt, which ancient astronaut theorists suggest is a light bulb, but it's actually uh, according to Egyptologists and historians, a lotus flower emanating a scent, and this representing the kind of aura of the scent, the bulb there. And finally, we have a case in Colombia, these artifacts found, which are golden, and when made into actual drones to fly around, they were perfectly aerodynamic, and they worked fine as aircraft. So folks say again, what kind of animal is this depicting with a vertical tail fin? I can't tell you, but uh, it's some fascinating stuff. Anyways, I'm glad to show you guys that stuff on the Egyptian hieroglyphics. I hope this was interesting for you. Make sure you check out Decibel Gardens. These guys are growing some of the most hydroponic kush on planet Earth that you can take to the bank. This stuff is seriously out of this world. This Roswell 47 that I'm on right now was grown by interdimensional grays in the future. Uh, if you guys want to check it out for yourself, go to www.decibelgardens.com and check it out for yourself. I'm Thomas Ogg. This is UF Show. I'll see you next time. UF Show. Well, this is either, you know, big news or absolute madness. It was bright silver in color and it had a dome. Cue flying saucer. Uh, what we see is this white tic tac looking object. Are you out of your mind? Uh, I know it was not atmospheric phenomena. These were some kind of craft moving over our house. Uh, First of all, UFOs are absolutely real. Bigfoot, I'm still on the fence about. Governor, from what you saw, was that from outer space? I think it was from another world. I've never seen anything like it. Damn freak! Red and blue and green lights, but the, the thought is completely brushing off as if to say we are mentally ill. <laughs> I know it's right because I've been seeing.